Yeah. No paperwork. No paperwork podcast, man. Insane J King. Fighting with the creators, though. And yes, right here, we got BFD. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got, you know, I forgot, man. People got rap names. I just know you. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, you can call Fats. me Fats only, yeah. Because, yeah, well, you know, we've been calling him BFC, Big Fake Chain. He's been teasing my little chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, no, Fats, man, when I met you, you had like four different names. No, straight up, yeah. You probably so, heard them all, too, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, you go by BFD, right? I, I go by, and it's rap shit for sure, yeah. Yeah. And what's BFD mean? Uh, big Fat Dog. Big Fat Dog. Mm-hmm. And there's a story behind that, right? Yeah, there's big, big. Uh, I got my name for this fool's mama. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Trap, she trap bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we so, talking about mamas now? Yeah, no, crazy. hell no. I love his mama. It's a long yeah, story. No, my kids are like, well, why you call her fatty? I'm like, well, that's my partner, partner. Right. We don't feel comfortable calling that. I'm like, nah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, nah. So uh, I used to be with this chick. I ain't going to say her name, but I used to be with this chick. She was like my high school sweetheart, and his mama liked her. And then oh, somebody, somebody came yeah. over to his house, and uh, I made out with her, and his mama caught me and cussed at me, and I ended up, in the, in the, in the process of her cussing at me, she said, you think you're a player? You're not a player. You're a big, fat dog. <laughs> she thought she'd be a big fat yeah, dog, like a punk. And the name and the name stuck with you. Name yeah, in our neighborhood, if, if if somebody murmur something mm-hmm. fucked up, like a name it could be yours, it's your name now. Right, right. It's like three little still in the neighborhood, and they ain't little the fuck at all. <laughs> yeah. They all bigger than me. And I'm yelling, they're talking I'm like, look, motherfucker, it's different though now. None they of them under there. six feet. <laughs> all of them little. Uh, the they fuck? ain't little yeah. no more. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that man. When I grew up, everybody was bigger than me. Yeah. So all my homies were like, that's you know, crazy. You seen Big Loco? So, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. So. You know what I mean? So it's crazy. It's yeah. like. Hey, but, well, so when did you? One. Where was your growth spurt? Because you're six two, right? Right. <laughs> was your growth spurt? <laughs> My, I mean, I was I was six two in high school, but I mean, like I said, you, you see Big Loco. Yeah. That's my crew was about his size. Yeah. Like, so I mean, above, I can't lie. So it was mine. It was big fellas. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. I mean, that was, was that, that was fellas. cool. It was um, you know. So. What are you doing right now? I know you got this album with Pyrex. It just right. dropped, right? Yeah, now, Morals that and album, Ethics, yeah. That album is like, like not being she biased. That's one of my favorite albums, just period. Oh, thank you. You know man. what I mean? Yeah. Like that record. Album, like you put your heart into it. Straight you know up. what I mean? Yeah. You do a lot of like, like, like real rap, real talk. It's not watered down, sugar coated. You know what I mean? So like, like tell me about that album and the process of it, man. What was your concept for it? So my, 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 I had the name. That was my first thing. Was I, I? I don't know why it's like that, but for me, I named the album first. Really, right? You know what I'm saying? And it's it. Smart. Yeah. I, it doesn't always stay the same name, but I'll get a, the the album name, and then I'll just start building around that, right? And um, I knew with the platform I had with Pyrex, it was way bigger. So I I didn't I even if nobody listened to it, as long as what I said was was uh educational you know what i'm saying in a way that's palatable mm-hmm. and not preachy you know i knew i was doing something right yeah. you know what i'm saying and they all good songs on that right. record thank you brother. And, the, and the name morals and ethics like yeah. that that kind of speaks to who you are Shut you up. know what i mean because even uh-huh. when i first met met you we first linked up it was like you stood on morals and ethics you know what i mean oh, and that's right. one of the reasons why i gravitated towards you man like when we first met it was like you had to hit me up Right, and I don't know, was it Facebook, Instagram? Uh, yeah, I think it was actually Messenger. Like Messenger, Facebook, yeah. yeah. And so it was like, you were like, hey, man, you know, I'm a homie from the pen, man. I'm trying to get some music out, yeah. you know what I mean? Ain't nobody really fucking with me. Hey, you, he reached out to you? He, yeah. yeah, he reached out to me. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, I was like, you know, at first I was hesitant, right? Because I'm like, oh, you know, random people hit me up all the time, real yeah. shit. And like, they probably hit you up. Yeah, you know, straight and they up. Ask yeah. For stuff. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of hard to, to, to fuck with people. One, you don't know. Right. Two, you don't know their background. Three, like you don't know if they're really serious. You know what I mean? Right. But, but I, you know, uh, even now, now, like, uh, I always, you know, I'll make sure, just like with this podcast, with everything we do, like, I try to make sure I know who I'm dealing with. Right. right? So, uh, you know, I, I, you, you, I don't know if you remember, but I told you I told you everything about. Her. Right. You know what I mean? I told yeah. you where I was at, who I messed with, who I knew from Stockton, right. you know where I'm from, and who you could check with, and blah blah blah. Right. I told you all that. So right. I, you know, I, I, I understand the uh, precociousness of 
of dealing with strangers, right? right? And you know, you got to be real careful. Hey, right. but hold on, no. But you ended up being a resource and outlet, didn't you? Me? Right. No, him. Oh, well, 100%. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, so what happened was, with, you know, I was, I was debating and I was like, man, you know what? If I, my, my, my mind thought, my process was, uh, if oh, I was Kelly, locked up, I would want cool? somebody, I would want somebody <laughs> to, to, to help me out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially if, you know, not a lot of people are fucking with me. Man, I would want to do it. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you know, checked around. Checked out, you know, the pen you was in, make sure everything was good. You know what I mean? It, everything was A1. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. And when I did it after that, you know what I mean? You you were like, hey, you know, we were talking all the time. You were like, I got an outdate. I might have an outdate, man. Cool. Because when you first reached out to me, you weren't coming home. No. You were like, nah, I'm not coming I'm home. I'm actually this. bothered by this new information to me. Like, you was considering it? Like, because mind you, this motherfucker came home, introduced me to you. No. I know you. Yeah, well, I was considering it because I didn't know him at the time. Right, yes. Like you would with anybody, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Like yeah, you don't yeah. just go out and you, you you don't just mess with people that you don't know because you don't sure, know yeah. their background. You don't know if they got paperwork. You don't know anything. But I just you know thought the I mean? way y'all operate a little different, a little more trust or whatever, whatever. Right. Well, that's that, that's the thing. It's, it's, there's a lot of snakes in the grass. Right. And and trust is a, is a big word, right? And it might not even be trust, but it's opportunity. Right? right it's it's like it's like okay everything all the fundamentals check out i'm gonna get this dude an opportunity to hang himself you know what i'm saying right. if he if he stays solid throughout, like common, yeah. yeah if he stays yeah. solid throughout i don't be just be willy-nilly i don't yeah. care eat five years down the line it takes one incident if you yeah. show your true colors i'm probably gonna cut you off bro i'm probably right. gonna quit dealing definitely with you. Yeah. and so going back to that when we when we first met like um, you said you didn't have an out date. And I was like, oh, man, this whatever. I'm going to fuck with you. Keep doing what we're doing. Then all of a sudden you hit me up. Bro, I got action. Mm-hmm. Bro, I might be coming home. I don't know anything for sure, but it might be coming home. I was like, cool. You were like, man, if I come home, we're going to do a big. We're going to push. Don't try. Everything's going to be all, all couple static. Now, no, I've heard that from several, several people before. I've heard like, oh, man, hey, just on the back end, man, when I blow up, I'm going to come back, reach out for you. Oh, man, uh, you know, hey, hey, when I get out, I'm going to do something with you. We gonna, he's from SAC. I'm from Stockton. I didn't expect much. Yeah. But he ends up getting an out date, right? Right yeah. when you get out. One, I'm probably one of the first people you call is me. Up. You know what I mean? And you're like, bro, hey, I'm out. We got to link so up. So what you don't know or didn't know, which I've always known, because I don't do the same politics, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I know this, but look, he all the way 1,000. All the way 1,000. Right. If you say I'm going to show up there and stub that motherfucker's toe, that motherfucker's toe getting stubbed like that. Right. Period. I didn't know that. Only always. Yeah. But just on based on he's a homeboy, you know what I mean. He's, you know what I mean, yeah. and 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 you know I try to look out for homies. Yeah. Period. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. If you if you good, if you saw you got a good name, I'm gonna try to look out for you. You know what I mean. Yeah. Like shout I'm, out it, to y'all for it holding doesn't, it down. How you yeah. Hold well, it down you know what I mean. That's crazy. That's dope. All for one, one for all, right? Yep. You know what I mean. That's that that's our motto. It's a motto I, that that I live by. You know what I mean. Sure. And I know Fatty lives by that too, right? Mm-hmm. And. Yeah, yeah. So when he came home, we first met. We were at that uh, the video shoot with you and Cinco the first time we met. Yeah, right. In person, and, uh, was over there. For, yeah, I we missed the shit. I got I got there right at the very end, and you could see me and Loco in I the video. Sure put like, you in there though, right? Yeah, for like for like two seconds, yeah, man. Bro. We were in there, but we we were in that video. Man. That was that was the lane. Uh-huh. That was the, the first lane. Yeah. lane. Yeah. yeah, so that was dope. So you came home, you did that, and and ever since you came back, man, you just been pushing. I mean, you pushed me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you orchestrated this whole podcast, yeah. right? Uh, ASCMG. You know what I mean? We got together. You you already had that. You brought me along in ASCMG. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And 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 you know you were like, hey man, I want you to be president of ASCMG, which yes, sir. you know I am. And now we linked up. We're doing shit together. You're doing shit with Pyrex, <clears throat> big shit. You reached out. You didn't have to reach out, but you kept your man of your word. You kept your word, yeah. and I think that speaks volumes of your character and who you are. And if people don't and that know you, regular. Right. If right. people don't know you, I'm telling I'm telling the world right now, like it speaks volume. You you're a man of morals and ethics. Right. Right. Yeah. And and, and so the name fitting. of your album. Yeah. It it befits you. Yep. And I try to make sure Wax was on me, Sko was on me about my my first uh my initial uh uh submission was like twenty six songs. Like I I sent them boys 26 songs, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they had all the homies on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? 
And they was like, well. <laughs> we, <laughs> it was all feature. This motherfucker said, I don't want a bunch of features. Yeah. He brought, it sounded like a the compilation. Day I, the day I went with my partner here, he brought 25 songs. Wax say 23 and a half of these got features. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no because uh, how many but of these youngsters? Artist, he wanted that art out you. Yeah. That vulnerable. How many of these youngsters they, they, they get opportunity art. though? That's where my head's at. Right. Get opportunities like that. Right. And be on the same album as AWACS. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be on right. the same album as Rico. Be on the same album as GB. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, now a lot of them gonna get that. You know what I'm saying? So how? I had to. I you know I had to try. Right. So we gonna figure it out. Right. Right. Well, now let's let's go back a little bit. How did you hook up with AWACS? Because, oh, I mean, yeah. AWACS, uh, he don't just mess first of with all, anybody. First of all, I listen to Woody, Big Tone, AWACS. I'm a, home, I'm a homeboy. So, you know, yeah, he those told are, me he was a fan of Wax. I yeah. didn't even know. So, right. so Wax, is, he low-key stood out in that, uh, not only sonically, but like uh, like he was the only uh, songwriter. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so uh, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, he definitely was like, okay, they, they and that fit me. A lot that kind of made me like okay yeah because that's how I was raised too, you know what I'm saying. So the people that I, I mess with, I, like my brothers, are Don Moves. You know what I'm saying? They're Ruse and, and Don Moves. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and uh you know so yeah it it yeah. made sense and I it, it made sense. It's but similar, that's not how similar. that's not how we linked up. I'm sorry, brother. How we linked up was um, free Snoop. Right, so I think this is an important thing. Every opportunity, we should be screaming "Free Snoop!" That Free brother Snoop. is right. That brother is in prison for something he he didn't and that's, do. That's that. Yeah, that's that. Kind of, there's like there's actually literally like evidence out there like could possibly free him type of shit. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. So yeah, it's been all over the internet. Right, you know yeah. what it is, but uh, you know it's it's unfortunate how the, I know personally firsthand how how the court system is. You know what I'm saying? And they don't they don't care if you're innocent. They need the conviction. You know what I'm saying? So. It's terrible, and yep. Wax is stood on stood by that dude, and he don't really he personally don't really know Snoop. Right. You know what I'm saying? He even said he don't really know him, but he knows what's right. He went through uh, he his, fighting that ground. Yeah, he right. went through his issues when he was a juvenile. You know what I'm saying? Just and so we on so many levels musically, just on some G shit, and just as far as his. His relationship with a solid ass homie, you know what I'm saying? I just I, I feel a connection to A Wax. I don't. And, and, and that's feel similar to your brother because, like you say, you grew up around Don Moon. You grew up around Plus. Yeah. yeah. They, they're your partner partners. Yeah. Don yeah. one of. Yeah. Uh, and he uh, blood tech cat, but he was he's partners with homeboys. Right. Yeah. Same way you and I brothers, you know, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Different but same. No, you know, I know. Like love, I love. Mean, growing up in Stockton, where I'm Christ. from, I'm from the West Side, Lewis Park. Yeah. It's all bloods in. I family. know it. Yeah. yeah. You know That's what all I mean? neighborhoods so, you should be though. You know, I mean, blood. Asian bloods, black bloods, and Northangles. You know yeah. what I mean? It's yeah. To the early to, to the point where you know a lot of a lot of homeboys from my hood be like, "What's up, blood?" Yeah. You know, but they're still homies, though. You know what I mean? Well, we got better tattoos. Yeah. yeah. But grew just, up saying grew that. Up the same. Yeah. Grew up saying that. Yeah. Everybody yeah. thought I was You got in blood. trouble when you first got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. But, uh, yeah, I grew up saying that. It's Everybody thought I was a blood. Yeah. 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 We did We did an uh, interview with AWACS uh, a while back, and he was talking about Snoop and free Snoop. Yeah. And, and that's an important thing, you know what I mean, for him to go and, and still fight the fight because of Woody, the love he had for Woody. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, my and my first thing when I got out was let me reach out to where I needed to reach out to. We ain't gonna say who has the, the videotape. Yeah, yeah. Right. But uh, you know, everybody knows who has it and try to make some progress. Right. Yeah, I saw I immediately reached out to that person and and you know, she talked back at the beginning and then just kinda like blocked me and stuff, you know what I mean? So Right. There's not really much you could do. I know how the appellate system works yeah. and if you don't have that, you you don't have anything. Right, but we all know he's innocent, so free Snoop. Straight and up. this goes back to uh, your album, Morals yeah. and Ethics. Yeah. Now, there's a song you did with GB. Yeah, right? it's one a of, dope beat too, dude. That that song, that's that's in my that 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 song right there has been in rotation. That in my, beat my, it like some UGK, like, some old Scarface, some old Texas right. type of just right. <coughs> got that it, grabby and listen. It's just dope. a beat before they even get to it. Yeah. But but in one of those lines. You know, uh, the last line on, on your your verse, you were like, uh, this ain't gold toes. Respect the homies, goals for finding peace. But there ain't no ceasefire in the streets. We're killing threes. Yeah. What was that Sound about? Gang I, mean, I know a lot of people, they, 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 they speak on it and they think they know what it means. Like, what, what did you mean by that? 
oh, I'm not going to get super into the politics. Some stuff is music, but. It's been controversial. Yeah, so uh, Gold Toes has been uh, making an effort to uh, unite the people for music. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that. And, uh, man, it, I mean, somebody had to try, right? Like you knew it was going to happen. It's inevitable. Somebody had to try. Right. Um, I personally, I never. <laughs> I'm not so doing that Northern actually, California yeah. standpoint, right. most cats ain't with. And I don't think, like, every every homeboy that I've talked to, every homeboy rapper so far that I've talked to, none of them are willing to work no. with the opposition. Yeah. And no. Even GB on his verse says, you know, doing music with the opposite is something I would yeah. never do. Right. And, and, you know, it's deep, right? Right, this, this goes and back it, generations. And it, it everybody, everybody always brings up the the uh, Africanos, right? So they'd be like, they'd be like, the Weather Brothers did it, right. right? And Red and Blue makes green, right? And so I I just feel like, you know, if I respect to them, right? But but I just feel like um, these are like music is an opportunity to to air some air some stuff out, right? And and like emotionally. You know what I'm saying, and just what like what you're going through and experiences, and I feel like it's it it contradicts who you are as an artist, right? Right. And as a human being. Well, this baby, what you been fighting for? Right. And now you talk all this high power stuff, and oh, but yeah, we could do you know we could do this and we could do a music video together and we could right. go, yeah no 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 that well, doesn't make sense the two can't can't coexist. From what I've seen online different podcasts i followed a bunch of different podcasts of course you know being a journalist mm -hmm. and uh from what i've seen online a lot of the southern rappers were more open to it right like right. they would say like oh yeah maybe if i might um you know one day or Again, if the man, from an outsider view that ain't crazy to me because i think a lot of cats are looking at like a blood and grit point of view yeah, that's right. what i'm saying they did it. no but it's got different. Got, right, got a bag, got no yeah, got deal. a bag for it, yeah. yeah. But California's this issue with y'all brothers a little different. It's different. Right. But you no, know? with with them, it's more open because they're from Southern Cali. They don't see us. They're not in the trenches. Right. We're in the trenches. We've and I and I'm gonna speak from my own from my own experience is that I've seen the the dirty shit that you know the other side has done mm -hmm. to us up here you know the, the, the scantless stuff that they've done like i'm talking about the, um you know they'd start shit and then go and tell and then try to try to talk shit afterwards now, and that shit has happened to me personally me and i'm i'm just i'm just being real you know what i mean musically in la they really kind of do their own things don't they like, like yeah like brothers that thing, sure. like the 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 mexican cats they do more of that shit like they keep people always, they're kind of in their own lanes over there. Up here, we're kind of, you know, integrated different. You know right. what I mean? And I don't know if it's hate or love or bite or what that's with it, but I see it's coming up a lot. Yeah. Well, did you, you see know? the Lazy Boy interview? Of course. I did see brother. some of it, okay. yeah. So in the Lazy Boy interview, one of the hot topics was, hey, uh, they try to be like us now. They're copying our style, which in my opinion, you know what I mean, like they do. Because before it was more of a cholo type rap. Right, and now they're more of a, you know, they saying the N word. So they, again, you know an I mean? outsider looking, you know, outside in, like that's picky and choosy. Uh, I'm a white cat who used to rap. To me, it's all homage to hip hop. Right, I know where it started. Right. I know how. I know what it's about. I'm part of it from breakdancing. Right, even, like, and there's no 100%. hate. So, so I'm just poking and picking and choosing shit. Like, eh, whatever's rap, right. man. Hold on, let, let, let's let's we got to dig a little deeper. Right. right, so so uh, he's right. First of all. Right. We definitely got some of our swag from the brothers, from our close relationship in, and we in, never in black, in, yeah, in black neighborhoods and our, our relationship with the blacks. Right. We uh, grew up with them. Obviously. Right. Right. And it goes deeper than growing up in the same neighborhoods. It goes to, to prison politics. Right? right. Just like most stuff. Right. And the street shit. So I'm going to tell you something. So people don't talk about this. Right. <clears throat> some do, but uh, the older heads. Right. So, uh, you know, I got locked up in 97, mm -hmm. right? And in our county jail, we were rocking with them boys, right? We were, it, we were run across the hall just to get them, right? In juvenile hall, we catch them in anywhere, it, it's cracking, right? right? And vice versa, right? Not all of them, because a lot of them were trying to program because they weren't allowed in specific sections because of their their status, right? So, hold on. So, hold on. Let me, tell, let me finish this real quick. So, so there were some of those that kind of accepted their status and were like, man, a, a, and handled their business, right? They were soldiers, right? So 
I, those dudes I you know I really respect, right? Right. So I get to prison, right? Um, I can't I can't even say this dude's name, but he's gonna know, right? When I first hit a uh, high desert sea yard, um, my vecino was uh, Sureño, right? And, um, right. and what's that mean from over like me? My neighbor, my neighbor, okay. right? <clears throat> my neighbor you was. Laugh, but, uh, yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> no, it's cool. My I neighbor was like, a, a vecino. Yeah. My, my neighbor was a, a, a Sureño. Okay. Right from from White Fence, right one of the mm -hmm. oldest hoods in 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 L.A. Right, I heard him. And we used to be in the because in High Desert you get locked up, locked down for a, a plastic cup going missing. You'd be locked down for six months by right. a search yard. Yeah. Right, so we didn't you didn't have hella people to talk to. You had the people downstairs, you had the people next door, the four people that shared a vent. That's who you would chop it up with. Right, my neighbor uh, from White Fence happened to be uh, work with my my Sally in the kitchen. Right. And so they knew each cool. other already. Right. There was a respect level. And and uh, when I first got locked up, I read a lot of cultura. Right. I read a lot. I read a lot of Mexican history, Chicano history. Right. right? And um, just uh, familiarizing myself with it. And I, I really got into it. Right? And so this dude that was like 30. Right. I'm, I'm fresh in, in a pen. I ain't been on a main line but a year, but I was spinning it back and forth to him. Right. So we used to be in that vent chopping up game and sharing books and all kinds of stuff, right? We got a we got a we got a cool like cool relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying? There was definitely a, a cool relationship. This is the other side to you? Yeah, Sureño, yeah. From my fence, yep. So we got a cool relationship. And um and uh I learned why there's a there's a reason to keep your distance. Right? right? So you know what I mean? Even though, <laughs> you right. know, we was we had a, a positive professional relationship with each other. You know what I'm saying? But what else I learned was he used to tell me, "Why you always listen to rap?" Because my celly didn't really li listen to rap. He was a little older head, right. right? I listened to rap, right. and and I was still learning why it was Im important in prison not to say nigga, not to say blood, right? right. So, so uh, there it it's it's different than on the street. You know what I'm saying? Right. On, on, on the street, we like, man, I don't, I don't give a fuck. The, there are brothers that are my mother, like, like really my brothers. Yeah. You know, what I'm yeah. saying? my niggas. Like, hey, what's up, blood? You yeah. don't give a blood. That, that's like, what's what's up? Up? like, yeah. So I'm all I'm trying to be is authentic yeah. to to what's my immediate circumference. Right. Right. So I was still getting trouble for that in prison. Right. <laughs> right. At the time. Right? <laughs> right. So obviously. Right. So. uh I had a. I used to sag. My, I used to sag my pants. I used to do all the craziness. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and I got talked to about that too. But he used to say, he used to say, why you guys get fades? Why you guys always? Because they ain't never got fades, mm. right? They used to never fade their hair. Right. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I when we was it, yeah, when I, I ended up uh, on my after my first uh, little uh, pegada, I I um I ended up in the hole and learned about their rutina. You know what I'm saying, and the difference between theirs and and well, are two words machine, you use. I right? don't know what they mean. <laughs> so, routine. Yeah. So oh, okay. they wasn't doing burpees. They was right. not doing burpees, right? They did not have fades. They did not sag their pants. They did not say the n word. And the the uh, uh, maybe five years into my thing, I met some dudes from Compton, and I met some dudes from uh, South Central, and Watts, and those dudes had a little swag. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it was limited. It was very limited. You know what I'm saying? More that type of hood shit we from But that was, yeah, that was the early 2000s yeah. that I met these dudes. So you never seen it. So we used to always say, That's, this is not just a music thing. This is just a transitional, yeah, a, a cultural transition, yeah. right? And and we just seen Lefty bite a gang of uh, Bay Area rappers, Oh, yeah, that's, right? been, that's, that's, so, that's a hot topic. Right? That's so, what I was going to mention a minute ago. He said that he functioned with y'all inside. I seen this thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's like, I functioned with them inside of like... But I don't know, you know. Right. So, so I'm wondering. Much, it, man, I, man, I can't. I, what are they supposed to say? Like, of course he does. Right. You know what I'm saying? Of course he does. Well, I'm not any more mad at him for saying that than I am for just being who he is. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. He knows what it is. We all know what it is. It's like, what am I supposed to say? Yeah. yeah. We know what it is, but, I mean, he tried to reach out to homeboys yep. to work with. Yeah. But don't don't try to reach out to homeboys and then come back and be like, I'll never work with a homeboy. So because why? 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 why, why? Cause, what, this is this is this is the Northern problem. California motherfuckers taking it as like a little bit like a, like a what? How dare you? Or hell no? Or what no, you doing? No, it's not. It's it's not like that. It's but the reality is though he could have been educated, 
Right. Right. Because there were a lot of them dudes that were saying, "Yeah, we we you know." And then as people could have said, "Hey, bro, like, they not now you're just making yourself look weird, right. even more weird than you already look." Right. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, like, I, that's that's all I'm saying. Like, it, I get it and I respect it. You know what I'm right. saying? When I look at look, I, I look at these dudes stuff. Right. I right. check them out. They popping. I check them out. Right. Right. But the 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 one dudes who whose music that I'm like, all right, this is dope. Is Young Dopey, okay? Right, you him. yeah, you never heard him. He's an older cat, okay. But that fool's dope. And when he's when he tells you something, you could when he's on that, uh, I mean, you know it's real. It's not my favorite type of music, right? right? It's super choloed out. Expected to stand on this shit. Yeah, but I, I man, you you kind of tell like, all right, that's a real one. <laughs> yeah, right. he knows. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, like that, uh, other ones they're not. Right. Right. There's there's ones that are. Uh, you know, from up here that, you know, they're not. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, we all know that. So, but, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. But that's that, that that's like a big thing right now is like uh, Lefty Gun play biting Northern California rap. But right. so, but again, what, the whole thing we've been touching on, like, how Northern California people be like, it'd be more, it just it's just a different flavor right mm -hmm. up here. And so even double back to toes. Yeah. You put together the black and brown. Right. That's a real common space right. from around below Sacramento and up. Yeah. Right. People be together, be cool like that. And also same vibe, same flavor. Also good music is good music. True that. Right? So yeah. like if I listen to when I, I remember when I was a kid and, and this is where La Rasa came out. Right. Bro, I was like, what? I was bumping <laughs> and, then, that. and then when I learned Sibo was from Sacramento I was like, what? I used to have right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do uh, MCA was from LA. We used to stay slapping. I did like yeah. MCA. And he was a keyway. He was a keyway. Yeah. Yeah. We still played like, like, like your punk ass shit up that. for the ninety three yeah, so shot. It was yeah. just his All, choice. It's just more respectful if like, you just be real. Right. Like you don't gotta mess with me, homie. We know yeah. it's cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? But be real. You know you listen to homie stuff because your swag is like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and I get I get that it all came from blacks. Right? right, we we get that in Puerto Ricans in New York. We we talking about what we're talking about is current cultural style, yeah. right? right? Yeah, and yeah. the the it's what it seems like to me is the Southsiders seeing that okay, Rasa could do this, right. Rasa could rock like this and still be cool. You know what I'm saying? Look, right. check this out. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? And that's it. Damn near make it weird because it's almost like you see one group is like, no, it's gonna be that and hold that down. But it's always like that. And when people be like this, and then people are like, uh, yep. maybe. Yep, we do right. it. We do it. Bit. <laughs> Look, just be real. Before, before we seen the brothers sack their dickies, what were we doing? Right, we had our we had them at our belly. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, the other day, hold on, the other day, my partner, a brother, now he's like, man, shout out to Rico. He goes, you see the brother in the pin? He was in the dickies and bring about the culture, and he's up in Mexican culture. It's real, yeah, it's real. and I was like, I ain't see it that way, because that is exactly how my partners used to dress. My Mexican partners in the neighborhood, for real, yeah. Real shit. I mean, all of us. Shout out to I started hanging there. around this dude. I started hanging around this dude, True. and and I, my pants got lower. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't tie my shoes. His tongue got looser. As I'm <laughs> that's true, right? No. That's yeah. true. Yeah. It's true. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Culture adapts to to you know what's cool, what kids yeah. like yeah, to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's, I I think I think a lot of these uh, southern rappers got their feelings hurt by. Because several of them have reached out to Northern homies, really, right? Yeah. Several of them. Right. And how would you feel though? Each and one what, got denied. And, and homeboys are pretty much on the stance of like, nah. Like yeah. they're the, I, the board. I don't. I don't. Well, I, maybe a couple were open well, to it, but. I mean, I get it. Though. Every like, how can every homeboy that I've you, talked you know, to undone. personally said no. Yeah. Really? Hell no. Not even a no. They just said hell no. Yeah. Right. And yeah, I've heard of there was a couple open to it. But nothing has come to fruition yet. You know what I mean? But I think before we start integrating, doing, before we even get to that level, like, there's homies funking with homies. And we need to, we need to get homies I get together. I get it. Musically, I held a grudge else. for a long you know time I mean? about some other side of type of people's and I wouldn't fuck with them. And then ended up in the long run, I did. Right. When it became okay. Yeah. But uh, one thing I am proud of is as homies, it's not as messy 
on like on the online on the internet yeah. podcast as right. uh yeah. you see in the south right yeah. they i mean they they go at each other they dog each other they clown each other you know what i mean they make songs about each other you don't really get that up here you got like maybe one or two diss songs that yeah. have happened in the past and that Bills shit got drug, shut down drug for yeah. it gets shut down real quick yeah. right because i mean uh, somebody knows somebody who knows somebody right. and yeah, yeah, yeah. someone's gonna get at you and right. if you're yeah. not acting professional if you're not you know right. if, if you're not standing on business you're gonna get at right. someone's gonna get at you you're gonna right. get get got at right and, and, and the reality is when you do stuff like that you make all all you guys look bad right yeah you know what i'm saying it, yeah so that's something i'm proud of right uh, 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 of being from northern california being a homeboy yeah, aside from all that though yeah. not to uh, like like uh dilute or or or, or taint morals and ethics that's mm -hmm. not what that record is no no, uh, it's, it was just something I wanted to speak on. Yeah, it's, you know it, what I mean? It, it, and it's a hot topic right now. Right. It's yeah, just, that's crazy. It's yeah. just about, uh, uh, you know, uh, enlightenment. It's just about, this is what it is. You know right. what I'm saying? This is what it is. That's all it is. Right. Shout out to Gold Toes, man. So what's your you opinion? Um, uh, American Cholo saying he no longer wants to mess with Northerners. Great. Awesome. <laughs> 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 because at first, you know, he was open to it. You know, I was uh, I was on uh, a live with Goto's while he was over there, and Goto's had mentioned to him like, "Hey, yeah, we need to get BFD over here. We need to get insane over here. Like, yeah, let's do it, whatever." And uh, he was open to it. But now all of a sudden, you know, uh, he's he like, said it was because it, he wasn't it wasn't reciprocated, right? Right. So, yeah. but I, I mean, it. it's it's it's. It's never been reciprocated though. Like nobody has ever put it out there that I know of, except for Goto's. Like, hey, hey, come over here. Yeah, come but Goto's has has positioned himself where he don't. He's not. He's he's just Goto's man. Right. He's yeah, Bay Area. What is it? Bay Area player. Right. Yeah. You know, right at the or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so that's what it is. I just wanted to get your opinion on that. So, so but y'all are saying mixing the salad here, mixing the nacho here, ain't, ain't it? Uh, no, no, no. no. And you don't need to. It's do you cool. think there will ever be a time when that does happen? But that was kind of my question though, about inside. Like, but inside y'all like function where they, you know, horrible. Uh, yeah, I, I, mean, I know music is hell. I'm not going. I, you know, I don't like to talk di about direct right, prison yeah, politics, but I'm with that. um, but I will say that um, there's always been a level of respect. Okay. With with okay. Our, everybody, our, man. Our rasa from down south. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And cool. out of all of our enemies, I feel like those are are they're the most inside, the most worthy of our respect. You know what I'm saying? And, and you gotta respect your enemies because if yeah. you don't, yeah, you won't dope. get caught slipping. Yeah, for real, yeah. real. But yeah. other than that, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, it doesn't mean I feel any better or any worse about any one of them. You know what I'm saying? It hey, just it beside, is. What hey, it is. aside from yeah. Mexican or Chicano music. The LA music has always been different than Northern California music. Yeah, I do. love them both. Yep, you can hear. But they're different. You can hear the LA influence in mine. Period. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, yeah no, no, we're, yeah. All, we're all products of yeah. shit we done. You can hear the New up. York influence. You know what I mean? Right. That that song that we're talking about right now, I was listening to Scarface all day. He's from Houston. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So, Still a fan. So because I, it's it's music. Music is music. Good music, music is good music. Yeah, you respect good music. Yeah. You know That's another I mean? part too. When I seen a comment uh, the other day, they said. Uh, the Southerners is a, a copy in Northern music. I'm like, well, as an artist myself, we all copy stuff um, sub subconsciously. Like, we gotta come from somewhere. We came from right, the right. music we heard from disco to whatever. Yeah, Hundred percent. Right. So it's just in there. Yeah. Right. I mean, Ain't no need that, to poke, poke, but you know, internet now and, and likes now and, and that goes now. back even to rock and roll, poke, poke, country. Poke, poke, like, they right. imitated something, country yeah. imitated sure. gospel. And I hate to say big words like imitate, thing. but I'm and saying your influence came from something. Right. right. There's elements of everything mm -hmm. yeah, in everything. Cool. Right. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so, you, I mean, you you, you gotta you gotta take what's already out there and create your own lane. Right. Sure. Create your own sure. sound. That's what I'm saying. It's like you saying it sounds kind of. Kind of look kind of light and cold, like, oh, they copying. No, stop. Right. I guess yeah. it's just doing what they do. Right. My biggest influence is is Ice Cube and Sibo and probably Lynch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> probably Lynch. Yeah. Man, just to keep that shit a no, buck. What, right what right yeah. You can Lynch, hear it in my music if Lynch you really pay attention. Nas. True that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big Nas. Davies. Yeah. These Tupac. Are, yeah. 
You uh, wasn't really feeling Tupac. I, ne- I, I never was really been into it. Been into it. They, been, they were more Tupac. I was Tupac. gone when he came out too. When I came I, out, it was on. You I'm put like, on Tupac, I'm probably going to put on Nas in the 90s. Something you feel yeah. like. Okay. That's true. No, 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 I like I know, Cat. he didn't like he it. Dope, but I couldn't I play it in his house. But my G, what were your G Rod tapes though? My G Rod tapes were uh, were it was written it, uh, um, uh, three times crazy, um, probably season of the sickness. You know, these are just tape Joe to see. Yeah. I had a Joe to see. Joe to see, man. Oh, tapes no. you got, you he got said your G Rod tapes. Yeah. Huh? You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we rarely walked. Man, right. We you know what I mean? That's how, that's how I learned how to drive, bro. That's how I learned how to drive. I ain't going to lie. I was young. I could hit for four GTAs at once. Yeah. I didn't know that it was hitting for a year with your mm-hmm. license on each one. And yeah. other, but I don't know. The younger generation right. might I had not know what a G Ride is. I just fist down the street, but whatever. Right. Yeah, so everybody had their parking spots. And we all had tapes to go on your had shit. Everybody had their there. screwdrivers. Oh, my mama. Yeah, right. for real. And this yeah. motherfucker's playing Nemesis Munchies for your bass. Ain't no bass in that motherfucker. <laughs> it's all blown out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But house Damn. speakers and G-Rides. That's how right. that shit went back. Yeah. yeah. We Man. played Crash and Derby. It was a thing. Oh, I We hit the block at night. Everybody just tried to crash in a motherfucking home. Oh, yeah. man. We bump each other, bump yeah. the cars. Dude, we try to get in high school. Hey, you know, that's how Sack and Stockton are similar because we did the same yeah. shit. Yeah. It's just you know a I mean? ghetto shit. They probably did in yeah. LA. Back then, you probably didn't have did to have insurance. Today. We probably ruined so many motherfuckers. Oh, my God. You know, yeah. Automotive and vehicles is lives. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Yeah, allegedly. My, my, bro, I mean, allegedly. luckily for me, my restitution is so. Yeah, yeah, it's a long sorry. time ago. Yeah. It was a long time ago, man. All right, so now we got that out the way. Yeah. What do you got next coming? What's what? What are you working on, man? Tell everybody what we're doing. So, uh, after after the uh, after um, we dropped the GB video, I do got a plan. We do, we working with Shima. We're getting a uh, cipher where I could introduce uh, all star criminal artists to right. you guys, so you guys could really see like these these dudes go crazy. Shout out to Shima, right? Yeah, shout out to my brother Shima, right? And uh, and then after that, we're gonna be dropping individual albums. I'll be working on my album. We got a compilation, compilation. coming. <clears throat> the compilation is already we just the songs that we got stacked up are crazy. Right. Right. So we're gonna start doing videos for that and and should get we, should, should we clear up All Star real quick? Just for those that don't know. Yeah. Like All Star Criminal was something I created years back. It was a dream of mine. It meant something. He came home, my partner. I said, I'm done with the music business. You take it. Now it's these two. Right. You know how hard it is to sit over here and watch these two fuck up all day? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, we're taking it to another level, though. Right? For sure, you know y'all what I mean? do. For and, sure. And, I love and trust y'all and like a mother. I'm, like, aim, it's like that, like gone running. You guys no, ain't playing with it. No. And I personally appreciate what you started, right? Yeah. right. I appreciate where he took it. To me, it. it's still the same. You know what I mean? Right. And, 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 and I plan to take it even further yeah. you know what i mean yeah. with your guys help yeah. with your guys you know what i mean yeah. but but together as a team as a unit everyone in all-star is hungry yeah. bro that everyone's so hungry. Yeah. Good they artists. Work. Good artists. and they they don't they come yeah. to the studio ready prepared it's dope. four it's or five dope, songs man. deep and when they yeah. write they write quick and it is good yeah you know what i mean like yeah. some of the music i'm like man right and yeah. now what with what they lack and what a lot of independent artists lack and uh people always be like there's no, there's no need for a label no more, right? Of course, right? That's what these people say because they keep you broke, right? You know what I'm saying? What do they come when they pull up? They get knowledge. We showing them how to do right. it yourself. Boom. That's we what showing we them how to get we paid. We power to the people. That's what we doing. They're publishing. Their yeah. royalties. How to get? How to get monetized? Yeah. How to, no how side to get doors. Your, yeah. No sideways. No like bullshit. if you if you come over to All Star, you won't get the game. And <clears> and. <throat> Like I have no problem, and I had a, I had a uh, conversation with Gas Pipe about this. I said I have no problem giving anybody the game, yeah. but it's a lot of hard work that yeah. a lot of people won't do or don't know how to do. I mean, you shoot if the I game tell you, you'll do it anyway. No, yeah. I'm gonna give it to them. But I mean, if you need help, hey man, that 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 cost. You know what I mean? Time is money because it right. takes a lot of time right. to get things together. That's right. It's a job, and I'm, we're focusing on. Right. We'll show you how to do artists. it yourself, but if you if you need somebody to do it for you, boom, right. got you. And, and we'll do it all day, yeah. but it costs because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of money. There's a lot of. I've, I was surprised how many artists don't even have their publishing together and right, aren't getting right, checks. Right, right, right. And I'm right, like, right. I'm like, bro, I I haven't put an album out in like what four or five years. And I'm just, yeah, we're still getting royalties. <laughs> They're not big, but I mean, yeah, we're still getting them. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like 
you do. You you got 20, 30 albums out and you, like you, you know you're barely making ten, fifteen dollars a month. Yeah. Bro, there's a problem. You know what I mean? A yeah. lot of that has to do with promotion, but then there's other ways to get money that artists don't know about that they should know about. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was even thinking about having someone come in here, having a, a bunch of homeboy artists and shit, and just educating them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a, like a little convention, little yeah. thing. But we'll talk about that later. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, so you got that coming out. We got you know the All Star Criminal, and uh, you're working on a second Pyrex album. That's right. Yeah. So oh, are you? Yeah. I'm, so this uh, neck record is a Pyrex record. Yeah. Yep. I didn't realize. <clears throat> so I got I got heart. a lot of stuff coming out on All Star, but I'm working on a Pyrex record. Yeah. Right, and uh, it's just a little more cohesive. It's a little more. <clears throat> yeah. It's growth. There should always be growth. Yeah. And we gonna grow. Right. And that's, and that's, like that and brother that's said, man, don't, and don't send all them motherfucking features. Right. Yeah. Just give me your art. Yeah. And, and dude, so your style is unorthodox because yeah. you can rap to anything. Right. right? With 10 and different styles. Yeah, with 10 yeah. different styles. And like your wordplay is ridiculous. Thank you know you. what I mean? Thank and you. like, where did you, did, did in prison, did that help you? Do, like, of course. Were you writing a lot? Oh my God. If you know, you know. But yeah, I was writing a lot. Every single day down here. Every single day. Well, see, that's that's the advantage you got over me because, I mean, shit, I didn't go to prison. It ain't even a writing <laughs> skill. Being that I know this cat, if you get into an intellectual conversation with him, you get ready to get doomed. Right. This motherfucker is... No, this dude got game for days. I can't you know spill I mean? out the words I use. I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure he can spill the ones he's using. Like, he's right. sharp, different sharp. Right. right. And sharp. I... Dude, every every conversation I have with this guy, yeah. I, I mean, thank you, brother. I learn. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and I'm a student, and I study. And right. every conversation I have with you also, Jimmy, <clears> but on, right. on, on, with with BFD, it's a whole oh, other level. Oh, them just buddy. <laughs> it, we're all students. We should right. all remain students. Right. Yeah. Not right. Okay. Nobody's above learning every day. If you're not learning something, you're probably moving backwards. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. So I would have tripped all shit in your past. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so 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 what's your formula for success, man? Because like you just came out. Right, and you just you just hit the ground running. So, like, what do, what was your plans coming out of the right. pen? So, my plan coming out the pen was uh, education. Right. Right. So, how do you how do you uh, game these little dudes up and make it palatable? Right. right. So, my definition of success is fundamentally different. Right. There's an element of financial and and uh, and social success. Right. But I think more importantly to me is nobody's nobody's really talking about us, right? right. Nobody's really saying uh, like what needs to be said, right? right? They just talking about sliding and killing the enemies yeah, and yeah, how yeah. hard their life is, yeah. right. right? How does it relate to your to your ideology, your right. personal morals and ethics, right? And I think that's it's lacking. You know what right. I'm saying? That and there's yeah, a lane there. There's a lane there. Right, and I know you can you can monetize that lane, right. right? Because people have done it. You know, they've they've been able to to uh, link those two lanes: the 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 uh, intellectual rap and the backpack rap, and a and a mainstream like right like right. Nas is a prime example. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? And so like that's how that's how I see myself, right? I don't see myself like. Like even even Sibo had an element of that. Ice Cube had an element of that. Scarface right. had that an element Mexican of that. Oz. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Right. Tupac had an element of that. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, that yeah. truth. Yeah. That, that truth. That truth. Right. And that know how and that right. gift. It's right. it's what one thing. Do? It's one thing to say what, what you're gonna do? do. It's another thing to say why you gonna do it. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. What are the effects if right. you do it or don't do or it? Or stand on why right. you do. Yeah. Right. That part. And you preaching that, and they're like. What do we do? Jazz ass motherfucker. Do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's, I think that's what set, uh, separates you apart from a lot of artists, right? Yeah. Because you're not just talking about girls and money and guns. Yeah. And, and, and I'm <laughs> waiting to hear that song. Though. Dropping a body every five minutes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cool. Like, wow. and that's, that, that's what separates you. And you can hear it in your music. You yeah. can hear the, the, the intelligence in music. You can hear the passion in your music. Right. You can you hear know. my culture. I tell you, this right. There's, I, you, know, you, know, you know, one thing I hate is, is people say Northerners don't love their cultura. You know what I'm saying? They don't love their... That's bullshit. Yeah. What, what that, that, you know mean? Mean? that Their culture. Our culture. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That we try to be black. We don't... We, we, don't, we don't embrace the Mexican part nah, of our... Nah, but culture. people right. do. In, in the world, right. it's not just Mexican. California is it's not just Mexican. Right. We're Raza. In our you know neighborhoods here, 
every Chinaman, Mexican, white, in, mm-hmm. we all sound the same. So we talk the right. same yeah. language here. We're different here. We are that. Yeah. But I, well, and I think people hate on that because it's not right. LA separated. Here we're like we're just combined. Your right. neighborhood be how your neighborhood speak. Just right. Get, right next to each other. Right. Speak the same. You're right, <clears throat> but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, he's right, absolutely, 100%. But what I'm saying is, he's saying the, the misconception that that if you're a, a Hispanic from up north you, uh, and you, you work with certain people, uh, you you don't care about your your. Oh, wow, that's you know what I'm saying? That's what's going on? And, it, and it's, it, it's just fundamentally not true. You know what I'm saying? Like, my Puerto Rican brothers, my Cubanos, my El Salvadorians, you know what I'm saying? The, bro, they bro, they are you playing, man? Come on, man. I could spell out every one of their histories. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm Peruvian, Mexican, and Spanish. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm so light. You know what I mean? So right. like, yeah, I'm man, come Peruvian. On, man. Right. And and <laughs> a lot of a lot of people that say it though, they're not even gamed up I don't know. on this history. Their mouth, yeah. Yeah, they, they don't even know what being a Chicano <clears throat> is. They don't know what being a Mexicano is. They don't know what being Raza right. is. You know what I mean? And and they don't know the differences. Hey, you know and his kids in the blood neighborhood, he was still that. Yeah, he didn't right. let go of that at all. And He'll fight you now for that shit. Yeah. Every one of you motherfuckers stand here. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I no. never. Now. Yeah, it wasn't about. Don't make no make no Mexican joke and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. no, you're right. It, it, it was never about letting go of one to embrace the other. It's the amalgamation of all of it. Right. Right? It's the embracing of my my surroundings. Right. These are my, this is what I. Yeah, I, like to to be like Orale Holmes and Salvas Gay and do all that stuff. Yeah, it would be not. not it would be not real. Right. We're not doing that where we're from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. I love it. That would be fake. Yeah, though. I love yeah, it. What do you want me to say? That's that's our our raza's cultura. You know what I'm saying? It's a huge right. part of what's inside of me. You know what I'm saying? But that's if I just was outwardly being like that. You know what I'm saying? I, it would it wouldn't be authentic. To to my upbringing, right, definitely. You know what I'm saying, but it doesn't mean I don't love it. Of course. And then, so so what I again from outsider, it seemed like the lack of appreciation ain't from up here. Right. Like right. you appreciate culture, you appreciate uh, down there and how everybody moves. Sure, mm-hmm. everybody got family down there and all this shit. Yeah. Right. But up here, I think they just assume like you don't eat beans, you eat collard greens. Like what? No, you know what I'm nah. saying? But you know I mean, what I'm saying? We, we, Hard greens are good. I, I love them. Right. Right. So, you know just saying. like the next man. You know what I mean? Like you do something to matter. Yeah. Like this ain't culture here. That's right. It is culture here. Yeah. Right. This here is culture. That's right. right. Shit. Yeah. You thought a motherfucker wouldn't? But yeah, that's a common misconception. Yeah. It's you crazy. Know what I mean? that's, it bugs yeah. It bugs me. It bugs right. real, <laughs> real rasa. Even, right. even Southsiders that know. Even like real Southsiders. You know what I'm saying? Right. They know. They be they be with us. They ask us for books like we ask them for books. Right. They know if they tell me uh to draw something, I'm gonna know how to draw it. Right. You know, because I I I did hell of their their uh patterns. Right. Almost every prison I was in. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that, I mean they know I know my cultura. They know that we understand the you can't say that you are an oppressed people without knowing who your people are. That part. Yeah. Right. And that, that that brings me to a crazy subject because I found out, you know, I, I, I went to a museum in San Diego, right? I was out in San Diego and uh, I, I was reading this article about the term wetback and yeah. where the term wetback came from, yeah. right? Yeah. But so I always thought it was, you know, crossing the Rio Grande, wets are back, but that's not where it came from. It came into prohibition in the 1920s, right? Oh. Anything when 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 alcohol was illegal, anything yeah. that had alcohol was called wet. So if mm. you go to a wet bar, right, that means there was alcohol there. That was their code word. So when they said, "Hey, there was I got a wet bag coming," that meant a, a guy from Mexico was bringing tequila on his back yep. across the border because, <clears throat> and that's why they called them wet bags. Wow. It was a code name. It wasn't derogatory that's right. until and, and like then it around became, the, it the became, 60s. It became associated yeah, did, with Did I just see yesterday that there's like some gators or some shit they put on a real brand or some shit now? Am I crazy? Did y'all see that? <laughs> I'm not lying. I said yeah, this yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the gators. <laughs> I'm saying like real alligators and some shit like yeah. that's fucked up. Yeah, but you know, I was just talking yeah, about. There was also uh, the uh, what how it became associated with Rasa was Operation Wetback. Right. Yeah, so right. like, oh. so in a, yeah, so 
Yeah, and yeah. I, I, pick I, up I read a book. Yeah, too, yeah. So. yeah, pick up a book. Yeah, and that I learned that from, like I said, going to a museum and yeah, uh, the, the, the he museum of books, natural I history. One or whatever up. It, was. it was written in secret prison language. It was written so small, it was like kite. I'm like, I can't. You got glasses. <laughs> no, that right? was that was GP the beast. Well, what, uh, I can't um, read this shit. I told him the same thing. What you write this in the secret prison language? I can't read this shit. <laughs> Shout out to GP the beast. I picked up some of his uh, books on Amazon yeah. and uh, J King opened them up and I did open it. I'm like, forget it. The text was really small. <laughs> it was on kites. Oh, yeah. He was like, "What is this? You writing?" Pretend kite like mode? I'm doing it here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, uh, but shout out to GP the Beast. If you really, guys really. go out there, man, it's uh, it's, it, it, you, if you check out one of his books written yeah. by Patterson. I forgot his first yeah. name, yeah. but yeah, check out, ch- check him out. Do it on Amazon. Anyways, back to you know yeah. what you're doing and what's going on. Um, anything else you want to tell us right now? Anything you want to say? Something that's been on your mind? Um. Uh, yeah, no paperwork is going to be getting uh, a lot more consistent and having a lot more uh, bigger names on uh, on the podcast. I'm yes. real excited about the future of the podcast, you know, and uh, and if people want to participate, tap in. We'll figure yeah, everything absolutely. out. Oh, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> and, uh, absolutely. What? We try this to is all fun. And- right, but it's part of a bigger plan, right? right? So and- I look forward to what the future brings, not only for no paperwork and – and All Star Criminal and Pyrex, but uh, the overall uh, landscape of uh, rap in Northern California. Oh real. man, we got a lot of things coming. Man, we about to push, pull, strive. You know what I mean. Uh, and uh, man, I appreciate you coming on, man. I love you, you like love a brother, brother, bro. You know what I mean from yes, from day this one, dude. Brother. This is you my brother. I mean? yeah. like, you're my brother too, hey, brother. you my brother too, though. Yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean. But I, he, different like, mamas. Like, yeah, all all day. But you know, I mean, oh, no, we, we were we were just like talking. <laughs> we were just talking. Uh, I think it was uh, last night or the night before about how homies say they love each other. You know what I mean? And I was t- I told, uh, no, before it was right when I was younger. We was like, yeah, oh, man, that's kind of that's kind of weird. But um, you know, I, I told you about the you know one of my homies. Uh, the day he got shot and killed actually was the first time he ever told me I love you. Like I, I, I was on the phone yeah. with him. Now we it felt talking, different. You're like, Damn. and he was like, he was like, I was like, man, you, you, you cool? You, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna go over to this broad house. Everything's uh, cool. He was like, good. all right, bro, I love you, bro. And I was like, I love you too. And I just said it, and and it didn't seem weird at the time. But every time before that, it, it didn't seem weird. He he ended up getting shot and died. Yeah. And then, like after that, I just told my my brothers like, I, I love you. Yeah. Man. Like five years homies, ago, like, I thought it was kind of weird, but that's what we do. Yeah. Right. Us, uh, close partners, I mean, love you, bro. Love you, bro. Or love right. your life, like period. Yep, sure. Yeah. Just so I got that in. Yep. Because yeah. I mean it. And yeah. you were saying, like, it's good to say because there's a lot of homies that don't get that. They don't get that at you all. Know, too from, tough, if from you home. don't do it, they're never going to get tough, it. Too tough, baby. Right. Yeah, yeah, and that's and that's that true. Is. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that they don't get no love from nobody, yeah. and you know they crash out. And, <clears throat> they think yeah. they're not tripping until they start tripping. You know what I'm saying? Right. But with that being said, man, love both of y'all. Man, love and, love. Uh, free tie, free hey, free tie. He's free free he gonna be coming home in like a year. Uh, free free my boy Pitt, man. Free, free Snoop, free Snoop, man. Free Get Mighty free Mouse. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to all the homies. For all the homies whose name I can't mention, I love y'all. All All right, man. No paperwork. Hey, no paperwork comp podcast. J King, BFD, insane man. We out of here, man. Uh, Conversation without documentation, and we just once.